Chapter 3, Lesson 1, The Planets The planets in astrology represent aspects of your being. For example, Mercury is concerned with how your mind functions, while Venus represents how you love, Mars pertains to how you express aggression, and so forth. In astrology, the Sun and Moon are categorized as planets for simplicity's sake. In astrology, each of these ten planets, which represents the basic elements of who you are, are then colored by the zodiacal signs that each of them is in. For example, Mercury in Taurus works in a very different way than Mercury in Gemini does. We will get into this in greater depth in a short while. It is important at this point that you memorize the glyphs for the planets. I will go through each one of these with you to help you in this process. The Sun The Sun's glyph is a circle with a dot in the middle. The circle represents life. The dot, the middle of the circle, is a symbolic of the fact that the Sun is the center of all things in life. The center of your life is your identity, the core of your conscious awareness. The Moon The Moon's glyph looks a lot like the Moon. The crescent lines that represent evolution are doubled in this glyph to indicate the high level of receptivity, perceptiveness, and sensitivity of the Moon. The Moon is your emotional self and your instinctual self. It is the part of you that reacts to the affairs of your life. Mercury Mercury's glyph is the circle of life with a cross at the bottom. This cross represents manifestation. The half circle at the top represents evolution. Mercury is your mind and intelligence, which creates the ability to communicate as well as understand. Venus Venus's glyph is a circle which represents life and the cross of manifestation at the bottom Venus manifests the joys of life. It is the love principle. Mars Mars's glyph has a circle which represents life with an arrow, a distorted cross of manifestation, at an odd angle towards the top of the circle. This arrow symbolizes energy and desire. Mars's aggression and dynamic energy and it gives you the power to go out and get whatever it is that you desire. Jupiter Jupiter's glyph has the cross of manifestation that is supporting the right side of a half circle, which represents evolution. The right side of the circle represents evolution towards a deeper understanding of life. Jupiter encourages, encourages expansion and brings abundance into your life. Saturn Saturn's glyph is the cross of manifestation that is above and is taking precedence over the crescent which symbolizes evolution. Saturn represents the fact that we evolved by coming to grips with the realities of life such as hard work, constrictions and limitations. Uranus Uranus glyph is the cross of ma matter which is open to both left brain and right brain perceptions that are indicated by the two outward facing crescents and is rooted in the small circle which represents the spirit of the collective unconscious. This glyph indicates rapid multidimensional intuitive perceptions and fresh new insights that are outside of conventional knowledge. Neptune. Neptune's glyph is the upward crescent which turns our attention towards the superconscious and works to link it with the cross of material realities. While Nep with Neptune, we attempt to bring the idealism of the superconscious dreams and myths into manifestation. This represents the mystic. When writing out this glyph, the tiny arrows at the top of the crescent are omitted for simplicity's sake. I wanted to e include this depiction of the glyph so that you could see the resemblance to Neptune's trident 
to make it easier to remember. Pluto. Pluto has two glyphs that are pretty much used equally among astrologers. The first glyph is the more accurate representation. The big P glyph is easier to write out and is the one I use. Pluto's glyph is the upward facing crescent of the mind reaching towards the superconscious that is transcending the cross of matter. In order to reach for the divine spirit, which is represented by the circle, Pluto gives us the power to transform ourselves into new ways of life 